So this topic is how to put a table of contents into your document. And you can see I have one here. So let's first learn how to take one out. Go to the Ribbon References tab, Table of Contents, and Remove. And now it's gone. Now the first thing is you need to know that if you have not applied headings to your main titles, and subtitles that this will not work. It needs heading ones. I have heading twos. I've called, I'm going to call this miscellaneous tasks part one. And I am just choosing a section where I'm going to call this miscellaneous tasks part two and this will become a heading one. And now you need to put your cursor at the very beginning of the document and we're ready to do the table. Click References tab, click Table of Contents and I like this one better. I like it to say Table of Contents. So just click it and then when you scroll up uh, this is a little bit long. I'm probably going to force this to a new page, but let's just keep it there. Scroll up. Here's the table of contents. You can see that the heading ones are indented a little bit differently than the heading two items. And this can be used to hyperlink to a section. So if you want to go read split the document. You can click the control key. It turns the cursor into a hyperlink and then just click there and it will take you right to split the document. And just so you know, if, if you were working with these a lot and you didn't want to have to press the control key each time, there is a way over in options uh, in the advanced in the right here, use control plus click to follow hyperlink. If you take that off, you would not have to do that every time. Now, let's say that uh, this one here knew that's right at the end. Let's say we decide we don't want that. So let's hyperlink down to the very bottom and we'll take that out. And when we come back, here you can see that it's still there and that's just because we have not done an update of the table. As soon as you click update it will redo the table of contents for you. Now sometimes you will get an extra message so I'm going to just add that back in. Here is our new content and of course you would start a list and blah blah blah. Let's just do this quickly. I'll make it my heading 2. I'm going to go up. You can see that it is no longer, it's not here again. We need to update one more time. Click update. This is the message you get. Page numbers only or update entire table. This one if it's very complicated, it can take a little bit longer, but I want to update the entire table. It's, I haven't just switched some, some order, so I need to do the entire table update. And now you can see my new content is back in there. Now I'm going to remove this one more time and I'll just go to References table of contents remove and do it one last time just to show you that there are ways to do custom tables. You can change for example the dot leaders. So uh, I'll change it to none but I, I think you actually need something but I'll do it just to show you. Now I don't have a level three so really I just have show I only need one and two, but if I had a level three but I didn't want to show it, this gives me the option to not show it. And I'll say okay. You can see now we have it 
uh, just the heading ones have the dot leaders and I'd have to go back and experiment to see if I could get those ones out. But generally, that is how you do a table of contents.